everybody welcome back to another one of my videos today we're making this this scarf is very easy to make it's very pretty and uh, it's quick this is very light very open work as you can see it's very airy and soft it's got little pineapples in it with puff stitches and a lovely simple border the reason why I think this is so light and and fluffy and airy is because I've used a four millimeter hook with this one. I've used the Aliza Angora gold yarn again and um, four millimeter is a rather larger hook than what I usually use with this type of yarn. So I think that is why it has this fluffy, airy texture to it, which is great. I, I love it. Um, I will definitely be wearing this scarf. It's getting colder now anyway. We start off with our slip knot and then we chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we slip stitch to the first chain to make a ring. Then we chain three. The starting chain three always counts as a double crochet throughout this project. And we start and finish every row with two double crochets. So this is the first one. And here we're putting the second one into the ring. So that's our start. Um, we are actually starting off this scarf on an increase roll. And for increase rolls, we need to make sets of three double crochets separated by a chain one space. So let's make one of those sets in here now. That's the first double crochet, chain one space. The second double crochet, chain one, and the third double crochet. That's our set. Now we have reached the middle of the scarf. Um, the spine of the scarf, if you will. The center line. This. That runs along. The entire center of the scarf and that is always the same it's a v-stitch in this case the v-stitch is a chain sorry a double crochet chain one double crochet so let's put that into our ring the v-stitch double crochet chain one and a double crochet now we repeat what we did on this side of the scarf, we repeat it on the other side. So we need to make our set of three double crochets separated by chain one spaces. That's the second, chain one, and the third. And then we need to finish our scarf with the two double crochets. One, and two. So that's the first row. We have our chain three and our double crochet. Then we have a set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space. Then we have our v-stitch, two double crochets separated by a chain one space. Then we have another set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space. 
And then we finished with two double crochets. Then we chain three and turn our work. This chain three is the first double crochet of the row. We put the second one into the next double crochet. So we're not going into the first one because the chain three is our first double crochet. We're going into the next double crochet with a double crochet. So these two are the starting two double crochets. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to put five double crochets in the center double crochet of the set of three that we made. So here is our set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space. Into the middle one, we're going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're chaining two. We've reached the center of the scarf, which is a V-stitch inside the previous V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then we repeat on this side what we did on this side. Chain two, find those three double crochets separated by a chain one space. We're going into the middle one, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, chain two, and then we need to finish. So we're putting um, a double crochet in the last double crochet, and then one more double crochet on top of the starting chain three. That's the second row. Chain three, turn the work around, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two. Now we're going to put puff stitches in each of these five double crochets. Puff stitch goes like this, yarn over, Insert the hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through and pull it up high. That's once. Yarn over, insert the stitch, pull the yarn through, pull it up high. That's twice. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull the yarn through, pull it up high. Three times. Yarn over. Pull through all the loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. That's the puff stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. We do it again in the next stitch. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three, into the next stitch again. Chain three, one, two, three, another one. One, two, three, and the last one in the last double crochet.
So we have five puff stitches. Chain two. We've reached the center of the scarf. We put a V stitch inside the V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now we repeat on this side what we did on this side. Chain two, five puff stitches. One, chain three, two, chain three, Then we chain two and we're going to put a double crochet into the last double crochet and then the last double crochet goes on top of the starting chain three right here okay chain three turn the work around and we're putting a double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going in between the puff stitches into the chain three spaces with a single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four in between the next two puff stitches single crochet one two three four in between the next two single crochet one two three four in between the last two single crochet chain four one two three four our v stitch And then repeat on the other side. And then our last two double crochets, one on top of the last double crochet, one on top of the starting chain three. Chain three, turn the work, double crochet into the next double crochet. Okay, so here we have actually reached another increase row, and um, we need our set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space. So um, this double crochet that we just made is part of that set. So this is the first one. We're going to chain one and put the second of the set into the same double crochet. And then we chain one and we put the third one also in the same double crochet. Then we chain four, two, three, four, and we're going into the, we skip this space, we're going into this chain four space, put double crochet, chain four, put a single crochet into the next chain four space. Sorry, I think I said put a double crochet. I meant single crochet, as you can see. <laughs> single crochets into the chain four spaces. Then we chain four. One, two, three, four. Into the next chain four space, single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. 
We need another set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space. So we're going to put that set into this first double crochet of the V-stitch. So that's the first one of the set, chain one. That's the second one chain one and the third one okay now we can put our v-stitch in the v-stitch so a double crochet into the chain one space chain one and another double crochet into the chain one space of the v-stitch and now we repeat on this side what we did here so we need our set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space and we're putting that into the second double crochet of the v-stitch first one chain one second double crochet into the same chain one and the third double crochet into the same double crochet chain four one two three four skip this space go into the next chain four space we're going to make a single crochet in there chain four into the next chain four space single crochet chain four one two three four into the next chain four space single crochet chain four we skip this space we're going right here with a double crochet we need to put another set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space in here in this double crochet like we did over here so that's the first of the set we chain one that's the second one we chain one that's the third one this third one is part of the set of two double crochets that we finish the row with so we just need one more double crochet on top of the chain three space sorry up on top of the starting chain three okay now we're good to go. Uh, we chain three, turn the work around, a double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, and then in the middle, so here, here's our set, in the middle double crochet. We put five double crochets. Then we chain four, two, three, four. Skip this space. We're going in here with a single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next. Chain four space. Chain four, one, two three four skip this space we're going to put five double crochets into the center double crochet of our set of three separated by chain one space so in this one five double crochets okay Then we're going to chain two and we're going to go um, <clears throat> with a v-stitch inside this previous v-stitch in the chain one space double crochet chain one double crochet then we chain two And then in the middle of the next set, 
the middle double crochet, you make five double crochets. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet into the chain four space, chain four, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, two, three, four. Skip this space, five double crochets into the center, double crochet. Chain two, double crochet in the last double crochet, and the last double crochet on top of the chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three, turn the work around double crochet in the next double crochet chain two and we make our puff stitches again one in each of the five double crochets chain four Skip this space, single crochet into this chain four space, chain four, five puff stitches, chain two. V stitch inside this V stitch. And then we repeat on this side the same. Chain two, five puff stitches separated by chain three spaces. Okay, next row, chain three, two, three, turn the work around, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain four. Double, sorry, single crochet in between the puff stitches, chain four, in between the next two puff stitches, chain four, single crochet in between the next two puff stitches, chain four, and single crochet in between the last two puff stitches, chain four, one, two, three, four. On top of this single crochet here, we are going to put a double crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in between the puff stitches, chain four. Single crochet in between the puff stitches, chain four. Single crochet in between the puff stitches, chain four. Single crochet in between the puff stitches, chain four. Double crochet, sorry, V stitch inside the V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we repeat on the other side. Double crochet on top of the single crochet here. And we continue on. Chain 
chain three, turn the work, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, actually no, this is an increase row, yeah, so we need our set of three double crochets separated by a chain one space, this second double crochet is part of that set, so we're chaining one, putting the second double crochet in the same double crochet, chain one, and then the third double crochet in the same double crochet, and that is our increase set. Then we chain four, one, two, three, four, we go in here, single crochet, chain four, Single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, and then on top of the chain, sorry, on top of the double crochet, we're putting another increase set. Here's our first double crochet, we chain one into the same double crochet. We put our second double crochet, chain one, and into that one again, the last double crochet. So that is how we are starting our pineapples in between two other pineapples. We chain four. We continue to build this pineapple. Chain four. Chain four. Chain four. Now here we need to put our increase sets again. One in each of the double crochets of the V stitch. So we're going to put the first set in the first double crochet of the V stitch. That's the first double crochet, chain one. Here's the second double crochet, chain one, and the third double crochet. Now we put our V stitch in the chain one space of the V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then our second set of three into the second double crochet of the v-stitch. So here's the first double crochet, chain one, the second double crochet, chain one, and the third double crochet. Chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, increase set. First, chain one, second, chain one, third, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, let's not forget this is an increase row, so we need a set of three in this double crochet, the first chain one, the second chain one, and the third. And then our last double crochet on 
toggle to start in chain three. So that's how we increase in between the pineapples. So the next row is the same, chain three, turn the work around, double crochet in the first double crochet, we chain two, now we need to put five double crochets in the center of the three double crochet, increase set, and then we chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, into the center, double crochet of the increase set, five double crochets, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, five double crochets into the middle double crochet of the increase set, chain two, v-stitch inside this v-stitch chain two five double crochets in the center double crochet of the increase set we continue on like this i'm going to finish this row and then I'm going to make the next row of puff stitches. So inside the five double crochets that we are putting here, we're going to put five puff stitches. So I'm going to finish this row and do the next row of puff stitches. And then um, I'll get back to you on how to make the border. Okay, so now we are good to do the border. So we're going to chain one, turn the work around. We put a single crochet in the first double crochet and a single crochet in the next double crochet. And then here we put a single crochet, two single crochets, sorry, like this. Then we're going to skip this puff stitch and we're going to put a single crochet into the chain three space and then we chain three one two three we go back into that chain three space with a single crochet then we chain five one two three four five back into that chain one uh, sorry chain three space with a single crochet chain three back into the same with a single crochet we skip this puff stitch single crochet in the next chain space and then we put a single crochet into the puff stitch and we repeat this process we chain three we go back into the same puff stitch with a single crochet then we chain five one two three four five back into the puff stitch with a single crochet then we chain three back into the puff stitch with a single crochet
we chain, sorry, we put a single crochet into the chain three space, we skip this puff stitch, we go into the next chain three space with a single crochet, and we repeat the process. Chain three, single crochet into the same chain three space, chain five, single crochet into the same chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the same chain three space. And you see, you get these lovely pico. It's a pretty edging. Okay. Now, we skip this puff stitch here we're putting four single crochets one two three four this chain this um, single crochet we're going to put a single crochet on top of it then we chain five two three four five and we put a single crochet back into that same single crochet into the next space we put four double crochets sorry four single crochets i do apologize <laughs> um let's see we've got one two three four okay now we've reached another um, five puff stitch series so we do the same as what we did here we skip the puff stitch we go into the th chain three chain three space we put a single crochet in it and then we chain three go back into the same space with a single crochet chain five four five back in there with a single crochet chain three one two three back into the same space with a single crochet then we skip this puff stitch we put a single crochet into the next chain three space then we put a single crochet on top of the next puff stitch and then we are going to repeat the process we chain three put a single crochet into the same puff stitch, chain five, go back into the same puff stitch with a single crochet, chain three, go back into the same puff stitch with a single crochet. Into the next chain three space we put a single crochet, we skip this puff stitch, we go into the next chain three space with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the same chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next in the same chain three space, and then we chain three, single crochet in the same chain three space. This puff stitch is being skipped. Four single crochets into this space. Single crochet on top of the single crochet. Chain five. Single crochet into the same single crochet four single crochets into the next space that's our edging so simple very easy to make very beautiful so we continue on like this until we reach the middle here. OK, 
okay we're skipping this last puff stitch we're putting two single crochets into the next space um skip this double crochet put a single crochet into the chain one space of the v-stitch then we chain five one two three four five we go back into the v-stitch put a single crochet now we chain eight one two three four five six seven eight back in there with a single crochet chain five one two three four five back in there with a single crochet next space two single crochets so here we've just at the top we've made a large picot like that and then we continue on in the same manner for the rest of the other side of the scarf and that's it it's um very easy to follow it's a very as i said it's such a light scarf it's so soft um I really love this guys it's it's really nice um i hope you'll give it a go um don't be scared by the larger hook and the fine yarn it it will feel weird at first um maybe not as enjoyable but if you press on you will start liking it and and you'll be amazed um by how fast it works up and i only used two of these whereas normally for a scarf i would use three so it's economical as well um there was one other thing that i wanted to ask you guys um so far i have been finishing full-sized scarves um and i always personally i like to see the finished product the full-sized um, scarf and then um, you, you have a good idea of what what the end result will look like okay but I can also just make samples like this and show you guys what the pattern is and what what the sample looks like and then you guys are free to continue working on it and make a full-sized scarf so I just want to know from you guys whether you're happy with me showing you just a sample like this or whether you want me to continue to finish the full-sized product and then show you how to make it. So um, if you want me to finish the full-sized scarves, obviously that will take a long time. It's a lot of work, so um, you won't get as many videos as quickly. If you guys are okay with just the samples, um, then you'll have a lot more videos. So uh, please let me know in the comments what you think, what you would like to see. And um, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing again. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye everyone. Bye.